It's also crucial to ask why chemtrails would be sprayed in the first place. Why bother with all of this, and why keep it a secret? The purported motives are wide-ranging, with each one being more absurd than the last. Some argue that the goal is to get people sick, thus boosting pharmaceutical industry profits and also contributing to depopulation efforts. Conspiracy theorists write articles with headlines like, Chemtrail Flu, Have You Got It Yet? In an Infowars video entitled, Is the Chemtrail Flu Real?, we see marched before our eyes a parade of silly arguments, courtesy of Dr. Edward Group. Because I was uh, with my family on spring break about three weeks ago up in Utah, and as soon as I got there, Salt Lake City, and then went to Deer Valley and, and Park City, all I saw in the sky was a bunch of chemtrails. So immediately I was concerned about that. And the third day I was there, my body is real sensitive to chemicals and real sensitive to anything in the air, the water, the food, because I've been pretty much vegan, vegetarian. I detoxify my body on a regular basis. So my wife even said something about it. She said, wow, look at all these chemtrails in the air, you know? And then I started noticing a bunch of people walking around coughing, respiratory, and they were even talking about the Park City flu. Everybody was talking about it. Can you believe that this guy is an actual doctor? He seems like the kind of paranoid hippie that you'd run into at a college house party. I was like, oh, bro, look at all these chemtrails. It's like totally the government, man. Anyway, you want to buy some acid or something? Assuming he's a practicing doctor, I wonder if he treats his patients with the same irrationality. Hey doc, so I've been coughing for about a week and I've got a pretty bad sore throat. Must be the chemtrails, I've got just the thing for you. You're gonna stick these herbs up your ass and you're gonna do some hot yoga for two hours. He noticed a bunch of people coughing. Okay, maybe they were sick. Maybe they had seasonal allergies. Maybe they work in a coal mine and have the black lung. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. These people just leap to an absurd conclusion without exhausting or apparently even considering alternative explanations. His logic couldn't be more unreasonable even if it tried to. I saw chemtrails in the sky, I saw people coughing, therefore the chemtrails in the sky are the cause of the people coughing. This is the classic fallacy post hoc ergo propter hoc. After this, therefore because of this. Just because something preceded an event doesn't mean that it's the cause of the event. Maybe those were just ordinary, harmless contrails, and the people were sick simply because people get sick sometimes. And it was spring break, too. This is when a lot of people are traveling, going to airports with large concentrations of people, and being exposed to all kinds of bacteria and viruses that their body isn't used to. It should really go without saying that there is no need to invoke a grand conspiracy to explain why some people got sick. And they were even talking about the Park City flu. Everybody was talking about it. So on day three, with me breathing the air, I was n completely knocked out. I mean, I, I couldn't even move. I was in my bed and I could feel that it, this was a man-made thing. Because, I mean, I, I, I really pay attention to my body and I... I felt like I was being attacked by three different organisms at the same time. It's like, this is very strange, you know, and being involved with chemtrails and biological warfare research for years and years, I knew that this was a man-made thing and I knew that it was being sprayed there and I was wondering where else it was being sprayed. Wow, this guy is the non-critical thinker of the year. On day three, I was sick. Maybe that's because you got sick from the people coughing around you. Why is the explanation necessarily that pathogens are being sprayed from airplanes? What a ludicrous explanation for a mild sickness. Huh, looks like I'm not feeling too good today. That must mean that evil men in airplanes sprayed microorganisms on me. Even a paranoid schizophrenic would be like, alright man, that's a bit much right there. And he could feel that this was a man-made thing? Can you believe what you are listening to? How could you possibly distinguish between a sickness from microorganisms that naturally spread around the environment, and microorganisms that are sprayed from airplanes? What about a sickness could tell you that it originated from an airplane nozzle? This is pure imagination on his part, and nothing more. If I ever walk into a doctor's office and see this guy holding a clipboard, I will knock over an old lady to run in the opposite direction. 
I knew that this was a man-made thing. Really, how did you know? Did you collect samples of what was being sprayed to definitively prove that the pathogen you were infected with originated from that airplane? And did you take every possible precaution to ensure no cross-contamination in the sampling? This guy has no rational basis for this. He's just assuming that it's a man-made thing, for no good reason. I was sick, therefore chemtrails. When you boil it down, that's basically what he's arguing here. It also seems like there's some confirmation bias going on here. He's saying, I got sick just after I saw the chemtrails. What about all the times this guy was sick and there weren't any so-called chemtrails in the sky? What about all the times there were chemtrails in the sky and he didn't get sick? He's obviously not remembering or mentioning these events because they don't fit in with his narrative, but these are the kind of things you need to take into consideration if you want to think rationally about events. I'm on Patreon. There's a link in the description if you'd like to support my content. I would really appreciate it. Uh, there's also social media links in there if you want to follow me there. I'm trying to build up some of those followings. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe for more videos if you haven't already. Hit the bell. Hit the like button, post a fucking comments, all that fun stuff that's standard on YouTube. You know the fucking drill. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.